Walworth in London is an area where many of us have built houses and even hotels. That's because it contains Old Kent Road, a favourite site on a certain board game. With lots of regeneration going on in the area, I wonder how today's property may fare. It's in this block here. OK, so it's not the prettiest, but let's not judge the book by its cover. It's a two-bedroom flat with a guide price of £170,000 plus. The first bit of good news is that there are 111 years left in the lease. The second bit of good news is that there's a working lift. Love that lift. So inside, now, the first thing that strikes me, I wouldn't normally get excited about a width of a hall like this, but we're in London and it feels quite spacious. Yeah. OK, the place is tired, it's unloved, it needs modernised, but my immediate feeling is that you've got a lot of light coming in, the space is good, and it's my colour. It's a yellowy kind of lime colour. It's bright. Um, a really, really pokey kitchen which needs to come out. You need a new kitchen in there. And through to what is a very small room, um, I'd imagine used as a dining room, I'm just thinking... OK, that's the lightest of stud walls. If you took that down, you would then have your kitchen and a dining area much more open, much more modern, and ultimately, you could feast your eyes on that. The view out to St Paul's Cathedral and the Shard might be lovely, but I have to bring us back to Earth by pointing out a few issues. There are signs of damp and the windows are old single glazing, meaning a lot of drafts and noises coming in. You'd need to check if jobs like knocking down walls and turning the separate bathroom and toilet into one would need the freeholder's permission. The two bedrooms are a decent size and just need redecoration. Oh, and those ceiling tiles, they need to go as well. Lots can be done here to improve this place, but there is one massive issue that might make you think twice about this property. Now, you might like this flat, you might have big plans for this flat, but there's a big potential but coming up that you really have to be aware of. There are plans afoot for this flat, for this whole block, to be demolished. In fact, tenants were given notice of this back in 2013. As yet, there's no date specifically for it to happen, but potential buyer, well, they'd have to be aware of this. It's a first for me. I've been in plenty of flats that should be demolished, but never one that will be. As this is part of a massive regeneration project, many blocks of flats in this area are scheduled to be demolished. So even this block is still standing, its days are numbered, which means getting a mortgage will be impossible. A group of residents are opposing some of the council's proposals and purchase orders, but there are no guarantees that will succeed in the long term. But of course, there are often delays in projects like this. It's all seen as very uncertain, so why would you take the risk? Because if it is demolished, the council have to offer you the market value of the flat. And if you say no, if you reject that offer, well, you could be forced to sell it. If your flat is in a good condition, they should take that into account. But it's just a wee bit heartbreaking to know that any love and care you put into this, well, ultimately, it could end up as a pile of rubble. The local residents are understandably trying to fight the demolition, but there's no guarantee. Can a local estate agent help us answer the £170,000 question? That's the guide price, by the way. Why on earth would you buy this? With regards to the uh, potential demolition order, I think the owner really does need to look at what he or she needs to get out of the apartment without spending any vast sums of money. My personal opinion would be to rent it. I think in terms of the rental uh, potential, I think the rental potential's 
pretty good. And again, with no set date in terms of the demolition order, um, I think this property could earn some decent money for the landlord over a couple of years. OK, but I think I'd want to do a bit of research into that demolition date. What could it rent for? I think you'll be looking at around about £1,300 per calendar month. Two-bed London flat with panoramic views including St Paul's, the Shard, the London Eye and a guide price of £170,000. Sounds good. Yeah, OK, that small problem of a possible demolition, <laughs> yeah, that could well be a problem. But get it close to the guide price and it could be a risk worth taking. Let's find out who agreed when it went to auction. We say 190 anywhere, but 180 then it should be cheap enough. Just want to go too much that 180, thank you. 185 anywhere, I've got 180, 185, thank you. 190, 195, how much? 192, 192, 194, 196, 198. Anybody else for lot 95? If not, 198 for the first, 198 for the second. 200,000, more competition, 200,000. 203, yes or no, 203, 205. Yep, 205. 27, 207. No, one more. Anybody else? If not, 205 for the first, 205 for the second, 205 for the third and final time. All done. So, 205. Well done. Well, this flat might seem a bit dicey. Adil had decided to pay £205,000 for the flat. And whilst wife Nagia looked around the flat, he told me why it was a risk worth taking. Adil, congratulations. Hi, thank you. And pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. Is this your, your first foray into property? It is. First time I bought from auction as a residential property. Uh, so you own properties not through auction? Mm, yes, I have several properties, but they are mainly commercial. Mainly shops, but with the residential part ab above. Why did you decide to go to auction now? My son is uh, 17 and daughter is 15 now. Uh, hopefully they will, they will do their education over here, further education at university. And I was preparing for them to buy a flat and I came visit I liked it a little bit, and the price was okay. So yeah. I, I, got, I went for it, yeah. So that's the plan, not to sell on for profit straight no. away, but for your daughter and son? It's just investment for my children at the moment. This one's for the children. Adil plans to rent the property out for a while till the eldest two of his four kids go to university. I hope they do get to live here, but we need to talk about the elephant in the room. There are plans afoot for this building to be demolished. That didn't put you off? No, I, I made some search and there was a lady when I visited the property, she was here as well. She said she used to live here and she has good relationship with the council. And there was a meeting at that day. I, I don't remember, it was a few days before auction. She said, uh, we are going to ob object uh, you know, to, the, to, to this building to be demolished. And as far as I know, it's not going to be demolished for a while. Did you seek legal advice? I did, yes, actually. Before auction, I went to see my solicitor about it. And they said, uh, 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 I mean, if, even if it's demolished, they should inform you and they should come, they should get in touch with you. And uh, hopefully they will settle before, you know, they do anything else. Yes, so if it was to be demolished, they would have to offer you the market value of your flat. That's what I've been advised, yes. Best case scenario, it's not demolished. What are your plans? To re renew almost everything. I, I, I wouldn't wait for to whether it's going to be demolished or not. I, I'm going to do straight away. I want to change the uh, kitchen completely, uh, demolish the wall between the kitchen and the small dining room and make it one open kitchen or open plan kitchen with, with the living room. The demolish the, again the wall between the uh, toilet and bathroom. Mm -hmm. So make it one bathroom suite with including toilets. If I need permission, probably I have to ask permission and do it, but that's my plan. I, I, I like to do that that way. The windows definitely need to place. They're old, aren't they? They're mm -hmm. metal old windows. Yeah, I know, but I need to get advice about the window first. That's uh, whether I can, how can I replace it and 
yeah, my, my aim is just to change everything, to be honest. What is your budget? Anything between 10 and 15. How long is it going to take you? If we start straight away, hopefully from four to six weeks. But that all depends uh, because I hire then uh, decorator and plumber and everything else. And if they're available straight away, we will finish in six weeks' time. Great. Can't wait to see what you do with the place. And good luck, Adol. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you. Adol was fully aware of plans for demolition for this flat, but it didn't put him off. And actually, he thinks it won't happen, or at least not for a long time. So in the meantime, he's determined to go full steam ahead with renovation. Will he be right? It is. Will The flat's still here, but that's the only thing that stayed the same. Adil has opened up the tiny kitchen and dining room to make one large kitchen that opens onto the bright, airy living space. He decided against knocking through the bathroom and separate loo, but it's now fresh and modern. The two bedrooms also look much better. Unfortunately, replacing the windows proved impractical, but they look better now they've been painted. What I really want to know is, what's the future for the building? Originally, when we bought the property, we suspected it's going to be demolished in some time, but then we found out it's going to be not more than four years. <laughs> That's a bit disappointing, of course. I was expecting, you know, to keep this building at least 10 years, so that was good enough, uh, long enough for me, uh, for my both my daughter and son's education to be complete. But that's not going to happen now, I think. Adil took a risk, but in this case, it's not really gone the way he'd hoped. And this block is going to be demolished before his children are ready to move in. So, what's the plan? At the moment, uh, it's just nothing but uh, to rent it out until it's... Uh, the, 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 con the company came to negotiate the, uh, for to buy from me. Nearer to selling this one, let's say in two years' time, I will probably buy another one. At least Adil will have the income for the short term. And then, of course, he will, like the other non-resident leaseholders in the complex, strike a deal with the council. And while all this might sound complicated, just getting the work started proved tricky too. They couldn't start on time. They delayed for another two months, so at the end they said they are not available, <laughs> which is, uh, was bad news for me. I have to find another company, and they start uh, probably after another month, more than a month, then they finished in uh, almost six to seven weeks, so that's why delay happened. So that's why the maximum six-week schedule became six months, and the budget grew as well. 10 to 15,000 has turned into 20 in total, although Adil was basing his figures on experience in his home turf in Sussex. London prices proved much higher, but despite all the setbacks, Adil is positive. It's still four years to go. I mean, uh, I think uh, the rent in this area is quite good. I hope that I will recover from my cost, most of my cost from in that year, four years period. So I love the way it's decorated and I wish I could keep it. No wonder, Adol, the flat looks great, and hopefully that will go some way towards getting a good rental yield to recoup some costs. So, what did two local estate agents make of Adol's £225,000 investment? I think it's good. It's a nice, clean, blank canvas, neutral colours, very, very tastefully done. Space flows very, very nicely, um, and I think it will appeal to, you know, a number of prospective people. The layout of the property is great, does exactly what it's supposed to do, two good bedrooms, all of it's open plan kitchen reception, they're separated, but it's the wall-to-wall -wall windows that bring so much light in that you can't, even on a dreary day, feel happy. So a very happy estate agent there, but sadly this flat is due to be demolished in not more than four years. So what kind of rental figure can Adil achieve on his total £225,000 spend in the meantime? If this was to go into the rental market today, uh, we would be putting this on the market for £1,450 per calendar month. On the rental market, you should be looking at achieving about £1,400 per calendar month.